Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to design a label in Photoshop for a dropper bottle. So I'm going to take the time to roll up my page to ensure that I'm within the printing range. I'm going to go offline to finish this and come back. Okay, so I can't really tell you where to put these guidelines. This is just me eyeballing it just to ensure that things are a little bit easier. And you can just do it. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to work on the background first. So I'm going to bring in a square or a triangle. And I'm going to change the color of that to a deep pink. I'm going to apologize for the noise. Something like that. So it is actually raining just as I decided to start recording. The rain started. Nevertheless, so we're going to lock this into place. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring in my background image that I want to use, please do not pay any attention to how messy my desktop is right now. I'm going to bring in that rose there by just dragging and dropping. On size in, I'm going to start adjusting to fit the size of the canvas. I've been trying to record this video for the past couple of days and my computer has not been doing it. So, I really want to get this for you guys um you guys have been asking me for videos for quite some time and um i really do want to get it done however i do have a branding agency and i'm still going to school so it's taking a little bit longer than it should so what we're going to do now is that we're going to add a layer mask and then we're going to hit our gradient tool let's be sure to change that to that and then we are going to by adjusting it as we like. I love the placement of that, so I'm going to do now. I'm going to hit multiply and I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 45. And then now we're going to lock that in place as well so that it doesn't work. So now that we have all this information, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the So while off camera, I went ahead and I brought in the information that is going to be on the sides of the label to be wrapped around. I added the directions, ingredients, keep in touch, distributed by and made in USA and I also added some dummy text in there for the purpose of this video. So normally when I'm doing a label design for a client, this is basically what is added there and we are going to lock that in place so that it doesn't move. So now it's time to work on the main aspect of this design and that is the center. So we're going to bring in some more text. And that's by hitting the text tool on the side here and what this scent is going to be is vanilla and rose so we're going to draft up the vanilla and the font that we're going to use for that is open sands and open sands is basically a font that you can find on your computer So we're going to choose font open. Let's try gold. 
Then we are going to adjust the size to fit in the middle of the page. We're going to reduce the spacing and then we're starting to add the rest of our text. So this is going to be a face serum. Just add in all our text all at once and then we can work on arrangements. Then I want to say 100% pure. Sign is needed. Haha. <laughs> One hundred percent pure organic. And we're going to add it at the top here. And let's now add the net weight. So we're going to see that this is a one ounce stripper bottle. So net. To reduce the size of then we're going to add that it's on the center. I don't know why I'm adding that, but it's like it needs to be there. <laughs> but it's vanilla flavored. <laughs> so isn't that strong I guess and then we're gonna give it some space but I'm just trying to give you guys some variety as to what you can do and then we're going to now we're going to work on the rose now the font I want to use for rose is called a mouthy post and I'll be sure to link that in the description box down below going to move that. Let's give that a size of about 12. And let's see if I can find a mouthy. So I want to use the font. There we go. So I'm out to post a regular. change the color to the lighter pink because it is clashing with the white. There we go. So we're not done yet because we need to have the end. So it's rose here. And then now we're going to add the end. So it's vanilla and rose face serum. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some drop shadow. So we're going to the right click, blending options. Once that pops up, we're going to And then you have that cohesiveness. Alright, so I went ahead and centered all of that information in the middle. And the next thing that I'm going to do, and the last thing I'm going to do, 
is I'm going to do some tweaks and I'm going to design a logo for this brand. So this is a face serum from my new skincare line and my business is called Day Love. And this is going to be a simple text based logo. So, the font that I'm going to use is called Nomar. I'll try my very best to link all these fonts down below. And there you have it. If you want me to show you how I made this simple text based logo, you can drop that down in the comment section down below. I do respond to persons. But this is the basic look that you need to design a label for your brand. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next videos to come. Bye!